The last time I talked about TikTok was on that Gorilla Glue challenge thing from about three months ago. And since then, I haven't really paid attention to what's been going on with TikTok at all. But recently, I was browsing the news to see what I could talk about next because I haven't uploaded a video in about two weeks. And then I found numerous articles about a TikTok tutorial gone wrong where a girl sets herself on fire by accident and gives herself third degree burns. So this should be interesting to read about. The article that I'll be reading comes from Insider with the title, A 13 year old girl has spent two weeks in the hospital with third degree burns after she tried to imitate a TikTok. Destiny Crane has been hospitalized for more than two weeks with severe burns to her right arm and her neck, ABC News reported. Her family told the outlet she had been required three skin grafting surgeries. I was in the living room talking with my mom and I heard her scream my name, her mother Kimberly Crane told ABC News. So I went and opened the bathroom door and everything was on fire. Destiny was on fire, things in the bathroom were on fire. Her sister Andrea Crane told the outlet that Destiny had taken rubbing alcohol, a lighter, and a candle in the bathroom. Okay, just by reading those few paragraphs, I'm assuming that the victim's parents have never told her not to play with fire before. Not only that, but why is she doing it inside of a bathroom? Why not do it outside? I'm not trying to say that she should have done it in the first place, but she should pay attention to her surroundings and make sure that if something does go wrong, nothing else will get damaged or get set on fire. Especially when other people are inside of the house, she could have easily burnt the whole house down. Her mom said when they found their daughter's phone after the incident, the TikTok app was open and still recording a video, according to the report. She said she believed Destiny was attempting to recreate a video where someone lit a shape on fire after they drew a drew on a mirror using a flammable liquid. Her mother told the outlet she had to pull her daughter, daughter out of the bathroom and outside of the house where she removed her shirt that was still on fire. And that right there was a problem. Why would you try to recreate something that could potentially go wrong at any second and maybe even kill you? It may look cool or amazing when done by others because they possibly done it before and have somewhat experience with it. But if it's your first time doing it, it you're bound to make a, a small mistake that could lead to something huge. While TikTok has been immensely popular among teens and young adults, the app has also in the past been home to dangerous content and trends. Mm, I'm pretty sure the dangerous content and trends are still around. I don't know, I'm just guessing. Anyways, last year the company banned a challenge on the app known as the Skull Breaking Challenge. It involved two people kicking the legs from underneath a third airborne person, causing them to fall over. Insider previously reported, at the time multiple injuries have been reported from the challenge. Okay, I don't know anything about that skull breaking challenge, but judging by the name, I don't think it's safe. On some TikTok videos, TikTok moder On some TikTok videos, TikTok moderators will apply a label informing viewers that the action in a video could result in serious injury. TikTok policy prohibits content, depicts, promotes, normalizes, or glorifies such behavior including amateur stunts or dangerous challenges. Yeah, because we all know TikTok is there ready to swoop in and deal with these potentially dangerous videos. I mean, let's be honest, when is the last time you've heard of a crazy challenge coming from TikTok? Never, right? But in all seriousness, a disclaimer isn't going to stop anyone from doing whatever they want. If you want to make a tutorial or do a challenge, then at least have some common sense before you start. You know, plan things out, make sure that if something goes wrong, you have an idea on how to stop it. But if you choose to ignore or forget all of that, your friends, your family don't care, you choose not to listen to your conscience, Who's going to be there to stop you from making a mistake? Anyways, have a good day.